So I'm Henrietta Norton and I'm the co-founder of Wild Nutrition. I'm also a nutritional therapist and the formulator of all our products at Wild Nutrition. Well, I would say that um, my journey has felt very long because I think I was, looking back on it, I was suffering from endometriosis since I was about 14. So it took me nearly 13 years to get a diagnosis. So, um, so within that, I guess there's a message that it just takes far too long for women to be diagnosed. Um, at the time that I was diagnosed, I think the average was about 10 years now I think it's dropped to eight years, which is a sign of progress, but there's still a lot more to be done. Um, and yes, yeah, so for many, for many years as a kind of young woman, I suppose my, my journey with endometriosis was very frustrating because I didn't know what was happening. I just felt um, tired all the time, digestive issues, um, menstrual issues that I was repeatedly told um, was normal. Uh, which is a word that I will no longer have in my dictionary. Um, so I was told many times it was normal and that I needed to um, sort of crack on with it because, you know, certainly painful periods is a normal part of a woman's life or a young woman's life. Um, and it wasn't actually until I was studying nutrition that I, we were learning about endometriosis and I realised that many of the symptoms that we were looking at were exactly what I was experiencing, uh, which then led me to go back to my GP um, and I had a particularly bad episode one night which my um, boyfriend, now husband and co-founder Charlie found me on the bathroom floor and just said this is just not good enough, You've, we've got to get you some help. Um, so I went to the GP and really pushed this time and said I really think I've got endometriosis. Um, I was told, I was still told then that even if it was endometriosis the best really the best cure for it was either to get pregnant or to go on the contraceptive pill and so but I wasn't willing to accept that so pushed for um, further investigation and was diagnosed diagnosed then. I think one of the one of the things that I have learned through once I was diagnosed and once I understood more about endometriosis I think one of the things that um, I learned to do pretty quickly was to make friends with it. So um, for it to be something that I could take part in and find my own solution, listen to my own body and find my own solution for it. So, um, so once I started to do that, I started to recognize the patterns. Um, I started to change my diet. I started to use supplements, um, exercise in a way that was right for my body. So for me, that was, you know, yoga, that was time in nature, that was gentle exercise. And as I say, dietary and, and supplement changes were a significant part of that. And I think once I started to recognize the pattern of my own endometriosis, then I started to modify my life around that. So in answer to your question about work, it became very apparent to me that there was a certain time in the month where I maybe needed to go a little bit more gently. So for me, that was respecting that and actually taking time to maybe if I had a busy day at work to then make sure that everything outside of my work or I would modify my work to make sure that I wasn't pushing myself too hard um, because stress was I think stress is one of certainly for me is one of the biggest triggers. My message of education would be ask questions um, get to understand it because one in it's estimated that one in ten women of reproductive age experience endometriosis and that's of those that are diagnosed so the likelihood is that you know a number of people that've got endometriosis and please ask questions find out about what their experience is how you can support them and I would say for somebody who is suspecting that they might have endometriosis or even have a diagnosis of endometriosis it's really really start to listen to your body. You know, the whole journey with endometriosis is very much, um, can be very much defined by appointments with professionals and which is great, but don't forget your own power and your own recognition of your own body. You know your body better than anybody. Um, 
And I would say that really getting to understand your body and its patterns and what it needs, I think is the, ask those questions of yourself and of your body if you are going through it. Um, there's now, I mean, there's so much more available now to look at like Endometriosis UK, for example, has got a really great information website. Um, lean on those professionals that have got a, a very holistic, rounded view of endometriosis um, because it is a very rounded and holistic condition. It doesn't just affect your reproductive system, it affects the whole of you, your mind, body and spirit. And so making sure that you're getting the right support for your body in those three areas is incredibly important. Endometriosis is, is a whole body experience. It's not just, you know, something that, as I said, affects the reproductive system. It affects all of you. And I think this is where there has been a real gap of information. And that was definitely the inspiration for writing the book, Take Control of Your Endometriosis, because I wanted to give women the understanding of what endometriosis was, is rather, um, that's not in a, a kind of medical leaflet, but also so importantly, what you can do, how you can play a part in your management of it, essentially taking control of it. Um, because there is such a lot that you can do. As I've mentioned, the, the changes to your diet can be significant, can really make a significant difference. And certainly that's my experience as a uh, personally, but also professionally. Um, and also just making sure that, you know, I think w when, when you feel empowered and armed with the right information, that is a very different feeling to feeling, um, the feeling that you get when you're told that you've got something and then just sort of sent off into the wilderness. Um, so I really, I really hope that the, the book has brought that sense of empowerment to, to women that are experiencing endometriosis. <laughs> I was doing quick maths. How old was I? How old am I now? Uh...